Hey guys, I'm the Mr. Mara, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a XP system. Now, what's brilliant about Logic is you can reuse it as much as you like, especially if you save it on LBP. Now, I gave away the level back in the timer tutorial, I think. If I didn't, I'll give it away now. Basically, uh, it counts up to, uh, to 9 on each one and then resets and all that good stuff. So, what we'll do, we'll use this Logic. Let's just quickly remove that. Check it on preview, it's all on zero, it's all good. So remove this bit here and open up the logic. Now, I know it looks very complicated, but don't worry, we're not changing too much. So put that on zero, uh, we can do that now. And this is basically the timer. So what we want to do is actually remove this. Right, let me just check something first before I do that. So this is wired up to this one, I believe. Yeah. So remove everything from here. So we can have up to 9999 XP so far. We can upgrade it if we want to. I just add in another thing. So watch the timer tutorial if you want to know how to add another one. It's pretty simple. Uh, basically, you assign zero to this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to nine. This last last one would be nine, and then when it gets to here, it brings the next number through the uh, through the cycle, and it will bring it up by one eventually, like that. So. Watch that tutorial and you'll figure out how to do it. This is a great tutorial for watching on how to uh, how to actually use logic together to make something very good. So what we're gonna what we have over here is basically a replica. So I just get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> so we get this uh, thing that I made earlier. This uh, tag sensor. So now it's called AI Die. Now what the plan is to do. And the, the plan to do is, if I said that right, um, when an enemy dies, it's detected as AI die. Basically, the, the logic comes on, uh, a, a, a tag comes on saying AI die, meaning it knows it's been dead. So it pick that this tag picks up, uh, the tag sensor picks up when the AI die is uh, turned on. So then it will increase the XP by one. Now, if I wanted to do, um, if I wanted to increase it by more than one, what I'd do is I'd, I'd make the enemy emit something invisible, and it would pulse the XP um, slight. Obviously, because if you keep it on, it's just going to be like, okay, that's one. So if you pulse it, so using a, using this method, which I'll show you, I'll, I'll be doing it in a minute anyway. So if you use this method, where it's resetting itself, that would um, for a, a limited amount of time and then destroying it, that would give you a decent amount of XP. So what we want to do with this is attach it to the first one here, which is this number. So what happens now is every time it detects that um, an enemy dies, this number will turn to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, blah, blah. When this gets to 0 again, this will go up by 1. When this gets to 0, this will go up by 1. When this gets to 0, this will go up, up by 1. So. Let's just quickly move that closer. Uh, move them more closer. There you go, that'll do. And let's make a little enemy type thing over here. So let's just say what happens when the enemy dies is this gets set off. So when the enemy is out of health this goes off and then this will uh, turn on a tag labelled AI die. So at the minute it hasn't died but let's put it on preview quickly. It's died now and that's gone to 1. Obviously the enemy would blow up after that. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make it pulse. So let's go on 
before it dies. So let me let me sh actually demonstrate what it will die like. So let's say it explodes. Okay. Uh, so what else would we need? We need this another microchip inside a microchip, and we need this. And we want to get the wire out of there like this. So when it dies, this is enabled and that activates this and it only activates it for let's say two seconds before it blows up so let me just reset this put it to the destroyer and this goes here okay so let's go and preview and see what happens it would be helpful if I set it off so, I don't know, let, let, let's just attach a button quickly to simulate death. So, preview. And let's bring this down. And it would also help if you could see it. There we go. Okay. And jump. Give me 4 XP before blowing up. So, you could do this for an RPG or for an, for an RTS. Or I don't know, you could do it for nearly any level you like. Uh, you can use it to your will. Just watch this tutorial once you have the timer. I'll put the timer's download in the description if I actually provided a download. Um, I'm sure I did, so you know. Check that download link out and make an XP system. Now, another thing you could do with the XP system is do a leveling system. Now, if you wanted to do that, you could get the numbers again, exactly the same. You could even make number zero invisible uh, if you wanted to. So it's not visible until it's got a new number. So, for example, it would be like zero, it would just display a one until all of them had an actual number if you wanted to do that. And then you'd do this, you'd copy this for the level, uh, for the, for the, for the level, yeah, level, get it, level. And what I'd want to do is disable this zero, and this zero, and this zero. Just keep that number on the left at one. And the zero, keep the zero on this one obviously so you know it's ten, whatever. But then I've just thought, yeah, maybe maybe you want to keep that zero in case you get to level 100 and it will be invisible. <laughs> so there's the level. Let's just say that this is the player's level. You get to up to level 9999 just like you can with the XP. Obviously you wouldn't be able to do that in the actual thing. But it's just an example. Now, what you'd want to do is... N you wouldn't want it to uh, do that. What you'd want it to do is say when you get to level. Uh, so so when when you get 10 XP, so this is the which number is this one? I can't even remember. Right there. Sorry. Hmm. Let's oh, pause. That'd be why. So that's the tenth number. So when it gets to ten, for example, you could take the player to level two. Uh, when they get to ninety XP, you could take them to level three or two, even good, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that that'd be nice little feature. Uh, what you'd want to do with this though is actually uh, unhook all of the cycles because we don't want the levels to really cycle unless you did it a different way but we don't want it to cycle. But anyway hopefully this helps you make an XP system. Uh, watch the timer tutorial first if you want to build this from scratch yourself uh, but if you don't you can download the timer in the description and just use it to make your own XP system. Hopefully this helps you, and I'm the Mr. Morrow, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.